Hey loves, welcome back to Simply Sabrina. It's Sabrina. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to join the love. If you found this video helpful and you like it, please make sure you thumbs up to share the love. It really helps my channel out and I really do appreciate it. So today I'm bringing you how I mix my deep con conditioning air verdict deep conditioner a little bit of a tongue twister <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so for your base starting out you want to use a really good deep conditioner or just whatever conditioner does your hair good i'm using the pantene truly natural deep conditioner i love this stuff it gives me so much slip so you want something that is really conditioning and gives you a lot of slip it's going to make this treatment a lot easier to apply and you put as much as you're going to need for your hair thickness and length. So the first air verdict herbal thing <laughs> I'm going to put in here is henna. Um, so henna promotes healthy, shinier, thicker hair. Um, henna can also tint your hair red. It restores the pH balance of your scalp. It's a great conditioner. It helps build a protective layer on your hair, which protects your hair from damage. And it's guaranteed thicker, stronger hair. This is a strengthening herb. It locks in moisture and it can cure dandruff. So I'm gonna put a hefty um, spoon full of this. I believe this is like a teaspoon. I, don't quote me on that, I don't know, it's a kitty spoon. <laughs> The next ingredient or um, next powder I'm gonna add is aloe vera powder. So aloe vera has been known to just be do wonders for just beauty in general. It repairs your dead skin cells on your scalp. It's a great conditioner. It makes your hair smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth. It prevents itchy scalp, reduces dandruff. It has a chemical makeup that's similar to keratin, which gives your hair more elasticity, which in turn prevents breakage. So I'm gonna go ahead and use two spoons of the aloe vera in this mixture because again we are going for moisture more than strength but they are going to give you strength anyways the next powder i'm going to use is fenugreek seed um, and it's in the powder form so fenugreek is known for hair growth it increases your hair growth like crazy it promotes stronger hair it's a great conditioner it gives you shinier and softer hair it decreases hair loss it reduces scalp problems and dandruff it prevents split ends and it can decrease premature hair graying so if you have scalp issues you may want to add this into your like weekly conditioners and just for hair growth and I'm just gonna go ahead and put one teaspoon of that in there so the next powder I'm using is the Amla powder so Amla has the ability to actually penetrate your scalp so it can nourish your hair from within it has iron and carotene which stimulates hair growth it has essential fatty acids which strengthens the hair it's a great conditioner as well it has vitamin C so it can stop premature graying and treat dandruff Alma can also tint your hair a darker color as well and I'm gonna go ahead and put just one tablespoon teaspoon that kitty spoon of the omelet <laughs> the next powder I'm gonna add is Chikai Kai powder now this powder can make your hair softer and shinier as well it has antifungal properties it nourishes your scalp it prevents itching and dryness it can cure dandruff it strengthens your hair roots so it lessens shedding hair or hair fall it's a great detangler and it heals minor cuts or abrasions on the scalp and it's a natural cleanser this is good as well if you have problematic scalp you should definitely try adding this in your conditioner as well and I'm just gonna add another spoonful of that I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil to just help with giving it more slip so olive oil if you don't already know it restores moisture it softens the hair it has vitamins a e and antioxidants it protects your hair's keratin it prevents split ends it can help stop frizz and it removes excess sebum which unblocks your hair growth potential and put about probably a tablespoon or so in that you will just add it as however much oil you like and i'm just going to go ahead and start to mix my mixture and you do see me going back and adding more conditioner so all in all i probably use about a cup of conditioner or so and i'm just going to mix that in and then i do add warm water 
throughout the process and basically you're just going to keep adding water until you get it to the consistency that you like. Um, Mine was um, more of a liquidy version <laughs> of um, pudding um, and it just that that's how I like it. It's easier to apply. It wasn't too grainy or anything like that. So I'm starting out with um, stretch hair. My hair was braided under a wig and I'm just lightly finger detangling any shedded hair to just make the process easier. And I'm going to go ahead and split my hair into two sections on each side and then another two sections and I'm going to go ahead and detangle. Now my hair was previously straightened before it was braided up so that's why I'm using a comb. But if my hair was in a natural state or just wasn't stretched, I would finger detangle over using a comb. So just keep that in mind um, depending how you start off. It is going to be a lot easier to apply this treatment if your hair is not super curly or in, in like a natural state. So since my hair is dry, I am of course applying this on dry hair. I'm going to use um, water to basically dampen my hair so it can really receive the treatment. And um, because I didn't want to stick my hand in the bowl and get it all up under my nails, I actually used this little applicator brush. And I kind of go around each section as if I was like applying a relaxer. So I just go around the perimeters and then I work it in. And you want to give your scalp some love and tenderness when you're applying this. You want to really get in there and like massage your scalp and get it in your scalp. Like this is where your hair is going to drink up the nutrients from all of those Indian powders and just moisturizing powders that we just mixed in. So your hair shaft is going to get it as well, but you want your roots to really get it. So um, as you can see, I'm just like really working it in and making sure that all my hair strands are covered, making sure my ends are covered as well. Um, this mixture is very very smooth when you um, try it when you're applying it to your scalp it's not going to be gritty or anything like that if you've used henna before henna can be a, a gritty texture sometimes but this mixture was so smooth it literally just felt like conditioner that's how smooth it was when applying it so I really um, like that it wasn't hard to wash out at all um, so here you can kind of see my hair is already basically snapping back in shape right now but that's all I'm going to do basically is use the same technique and just go around and apply it to all my hair. So pardon the 10,000 different colors I have going on in my hair. <laughs> that is a whole nother video to come. Um, but basically that's just what happens when you use a developer to dye your hair like I did in the how to dye your hair blue black video um, versus the box dyes um, I typically use the pass and then using henna over it so developer does lift the color from your hair if anyone was ever wondering it's not bleach but it still lifts the color so when I did my other treatments and it had henna in it it tinted that section very red because it was lighter than the rest of my hair um, yeah but I'm correcting that soon stay tuned
after I finish applying it, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put a conditioning cap over it as well as a um, thermal conditioning cap as well. I left this on for about 45 minutes or so. I was doing some house chores. My cap's dirty, don't mind it y'all, I gotta wash it. <laughs> um, I did wash this out with the Shea Moisture manuka honey and mofuro oil condi conditioner and shampoo this is my favorite line favorite 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 um and it was very easy to wash out you guys i honestly only shampooed once because i was being lazy but even with that one time it washed out very clean i did t-shirt dry my hair for a little when i first got out the shower um so i love this treatment i love how strong but so soft my hair felt so soft you guys it was insane um as you can see it did tint the red a little bit darker um if it was all one color i would keep it but i feel like it just looks crazy because it's a thousand colors right now um but yeah like i absolutely loved love the result like it snaps my hair back into shape i really think this treatment is going to be what saves me or helps me along with being a straight hair natural because it gives your hair so much strength so it's just so much more resilient and it just snaps your hair back i absolutely love that um i'm planning on doing this treatment once a month i feel like i don't need it more than that because again even though it's super moisturizing it's still a strengthening treatment as well and i just don't see myself needing it more than that um yeah but my hair was just it felt so good i absolutely loved um my results i loved how my hair felt after it so I hope this video was helpful for everyone who has been asking what treatment I've been doing. This is my staple moisturizing Ayurvedic deep conditioning treatment. Um, if you try it out, let me know. Come back and leave a comment. Let me know how you liked it, how it felt on your hair and all of that good stuff. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, you guys, and make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned. A lot more is coming. <laughs> Bye, love.